Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to this uh, the 19th meeting of the Welfare Reform Committee for 2014. Uh, could everyone please make sure that their mobile phone devices and electronic equipment are in silent or on uh, switch to airplane mode? We are starting today with a new set of committee members. Uh, we have received resignations from the Deputy Convener, Jamie Hepburn, as well as Annabel Ewing and Linda Fabiani. Um, I'd like to thank those members for the service they gave the committee. I worked very closely with, with Jamie and uh, we had a very positive relationship and I think the committee worked very well because of the cooperation that, that we always managed to achieve. So I hope that that's the way we're going to go forward. I'm sure it will be the case. Uh, with our new members, who are Claire Adamson, Christina McKelvey and Joan McAlpine. Um, the first agenda item officially is a declaration of interest and I invite our new members to declare any interests that are relevant to the committee's remit um, and I remind members that any declaration should be brief but sufficiently detailed to make clear to any listener the nature of that interest. So we'll just go from left to right, Christina. Do you want to Good morning, Convener. Thank you very much. Christina McKelvey, um, <coughs> I have no uh, registrable interest in relation to this committee and I would refer people to my register interest for, for other information. Joan. Yes, thank you, Convener. Uh, I would draw members' attention to my register of interest and in particular the fact that I write a column for the Daily Record, a newspaper which has uh, been known to comment and campaign on welfare issues. Okay. And Claire. Um, thank you, Convener. Um, I also draw people's attention to my register of interest, but nothing to declare for this committee. Okay, thanks very much to all of you and welcome aboard. Okay. Agenda item two is the choice of deputy convener. Uh, in line with standing orders, the Parliament has agreed that members of the SNP shall be eligible for this position. Uh, do members have a nomination that they would like to put forward? Convener, um, I'd like to nominate Claire Adamson for the post of deputy convener. Assuming there's no other nominations. <laughs> so we've received a nomination for uh, Claire Adamson. So has the committee agreed that Claire will act as the deputy convener? Agreed. That's agreed. And again, welcome to New Post, Claire. Look forward to Thank working you. with you. And that brings us to agenda item three, which is a decision on whether to take item seven in private. Uh, item 7 is a consideration of the committee's work programme. The members agree. Agree. Thank you very much. Uh, the fourth item of business today is the discretionary housing payments limit on total expenditure revocation Scotland Order 2014. It will revoke any enactments which impose a limit on local authorities' discretionary housing payment expenditure and applies retrospe retrospectively from the 1st of April this year. As members will recall, we took evidence on the order from the then Deputy First Minister on the 11th of November. At that stage, we did not formally consider the order as we had yet to receive the report from the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. We have now received that report from the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee, which has determined that it does not need to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament. Members should also note that no motion to annul have been received in relation to this instrument. If the Committee has agreed then, uh, does it not wish to make any recommendation in relation to that instrument? Agreed. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. That's agreed. Uh, I now have to close the public session uh, and move into private session to consider draft reports on the draft budget and the Welfare Fund Scotland Bill, as well as the committee's work programme. At its next meeting on the 9th of December, the committee will conduct a year say oral evidence session and it will hear a variety of welfare benefit recipients on the impact of the welfare reforms on those with mental health. Okay, and I'll take the meeting into private session. <laughs>